So number three, almost every talk I do, I mean, I can't believe we're having this, but every talk I do about North Korea, somebody asks, is Kim Jong-un crazy? Is he, is he insane? Is he irrational? We'll talk about it later, right? My answer is always the same. All Koreans are crazy. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'm just kidding. Um, what I mean is, what I mean is, there is an internal logic to Korea. There's an internal logic to most cultures. If you don't know that logic, yes, it doesn't make a lot of sense. If you do know that logic, it makes a lot more sense. But it doesn't take much attention to think through the fact that, yes, Kim Jong-il, his father, Kim Il-sung, his grandfather, and Kim Jong-un, the current North Korean leader, is by any definition quite rational, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a little time on that, right? Back in uh, 2013, my friend Victor uh, and I wrote a piece in this foreign policy magazine, right, where we asked these questions, right? Um, is, it, is it North Korea dangerous? Is he insane? And as I said, we've been having these debates forever. I could have written that paper 10 years earlier, right? Oh, wait, we did. <laughs> same magazine, same think again. Same questions. Is he crazy? Are they undeterrable? I've been saying the same thing for quite a while, right? And it's not about me, but these are enduring questions, and yet we still have them. So why, why, do, I think he's, why do I think he's sane? Why do I think he's not crazy and going on? The most important thing to remember is this. If you are going to rule as a dictator over an entire country, you really better be able to think of means, ends, cost-benefit calculation. This is not easy to do. You need to be able to decide you're trustworthy and you're not. Or you're getting, you know, uh, whatever, you're getting a little bit uh, flaky with me, so we'll move you to the back room and then, you know, you can take, right? You need to be able to be in charge of an entire country and a military apparatus of the palace politics that go on in dictatorships are unbelievably intense. You don't rule for six years without being able to make very, very good choices, sophisticated decisions about having good nunchi, as we say in Korean, about who's, who's, res who's respectable and who's not, or who you can trust and who you can't trust. So simply his longevity is evidence he knows what he's doing. But we don't help ourselves by making fun of North Korea. It's not like you know, we should be more respectful or polite. Looking at him as insane, looking at him as a joke, right? makes us miss what's actually going on. That this is a leader with a vision for the country, right? Making a joke out of Kim Jong-un doesn't help us. Now, okay, this is funny, right? Um, <laughs> right that's Kim Jong-il, his father, right? Uh, on the occasion of one of the first times he actually sat in 2000 and met Western press and the South Korean president. That's, it's pretty funny, right? But it doesn't help us to have these ridiculous conversations about is he crazy or not? when clearly North Korea has been deterred for 64 years, when clearly their choices and responses to us are incredibly well calibrated, when even shooting incidents stay shooting incidents and don't explode into bigger things because they know what they're doing and we know what we're doing. It doesn't help us. It blinds us to, what, to what's really going on, right? And in many ways, North Korea is such a fun thing to make fun of that we miss things. It is so easy for us to start spreading around rumors uh, and then saying to each other, did you know what? Uh, wow, wild dogs tore apart people. He had people dragged off and killed with anti-aircraft guns. But one of the things you should remember is many, many, many times when we think someone was purged or killed, uh, they show up again. If you watch North Korean politics, Somebody gets rotated out, then they show up later, and we're like, oh, uh, he wasn't purged. Uh, we thought he was killed and by wild dogs, but uh, oh, he's back. Hello there. Those doctors are great in North Korea. <laughs> they sewed you back together. Right? It makes no sense. Of course he knows what he's doing. Right? This is a leader of an entire bureaucracy, of a military. He's been in power for six years. And in some ways, if you look at what he's doing, what Kim Jong-un, as sort of, I've, I've talked about him as CEO, right? If you look at him as the leader of a company, he's moved people in and out, he's found a team he trusts, 
It takes a while. Right? He's, he's come up with a vision, Pyongjin line, which is both nuclear weapons and economic development. That's what leaders do. And much of his actual rhetoric, when he talks to North Koreans, is interesting rhetoric. Right? He, this is a charismatic leader. He's not like his father. He knows his father was a little introvert, a little shy, a little awkward. He's not. Right? And often his, uh, um, uh, New Year's, his New Year's Day speech is one of the big ones. What he says in these speeches what he said a couple of years ago was, when I think of how much the North Korean people have suffered, my heart aches and I can't sleep. Now, the point isn't whether we believe him or not. But the point is, as a leader, he's telling the people what they want to hear. He's telling them, you should not suffer anymore. This is not some kind of wild man crazy guy. He is talking to the North Korean people, saying, you know what? We want nuclear weapons, and we want economic development. And in many ways, he is a charismatic leader. He's out there. He likes waving the crowds. He show, you know, here he is um, you know, with a bunch of people. Uh, like in many ways, this is a leader who has taken a country, who is out meeting, hugging, smiling. We don't have to like it. But there's overwhelming evidence that he knows what he's doing, and he has identified a vision for North Korea, and he's moving the country forward in that way. And just to conclude, one of the things I'll say is we should always be a little bit cautious about what we know about North Korea. Fair enough. We didn't have a lot of pictures of him until uh, 20, 2010, 2011. It's true. We know a lot more than we think about North Korea to be able to say whether this guy's rational or not. And there's no question he's not crazy. In many ways, that makes him more dangerous because he knows what he's doing. And we can't hope that somehow it'll just disappear. Which leads me to the final point. What do you do about it? If you're so smart, what are you going to do about it?